Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's time once again for my monthly thrift store score video. Today, we'll take a look at my thrift store haul from April of 2016. Everything you see in this video is purchased at a thrift store unless I say otherwise, and almost everything in the video is a dollar or usually less each. We'll start off today with miscellaneous. I got this Popples glass from 1986. It's PC Popple, and it was from a set of four glasses available from Pizza Hut. And I got these three glass Garfield mugs from McDonald's. They're from 1987, and they were also a set of four. I also got a Garfield pencil, and a Hello Kitty and a Coca-Cola pencil. Here's some crazy pens. One of them is in the shape of a green bean, and this one lights up. I also got some erasers of Little Monster, a Rabbit, a Cat and a Jack-O-Lantern, and a Little Pumpkin. I got a lot of new stickers. Too many to show, but here's some of the coolest ones. Some thick insect puffy stickers. Lenticular Batman stickers. In search of the eternal buzz. I've been caught being good by the Pittsburgh police. The more you disapprove, the more fun it is for me. Some goofy socks. You don't need dope to dance, dude. And some Ziggy stickers. I got this cool ceramic orange. Isn't he a nice guy? Here's a pair of Yo Yogi 3D glasses. They came in boxes of Rice Krispies and could be used to watch the 1991 TV show Yo Yogi. Here's a 1995 poster from Milk Duds for the film Mortal Kombat. I got four of them. I also got this Pokemon 2000 press kit that was sent to video stores. Pokemon was invading grocery aisles. These are some of the products that were doing promotions for Pokemon 2000. And I got this Nestle Play It Cool Instant Win Game Grocery Header. It's from 1995, and you could win a Ford Mustang Convertible instantly. I also got a couple new ornaments for the 2016 holiday season. Here's some nightmare fuel for you. This month, I came across a lot of cool and vintage books. The 1984 hardback, The Care Bears Battle the Freeze Machine. And the Care Bears helped Santa. I'm sure Santa was thrilled. The Chipmunk story with no record in it. And E.T. as told by Gertie with no cassette in it. I also got the Happy Birthday Sheldon U.S. Acres book by Garfield's Jim Davis. I love this Mad book. Mad cover to cover is a collection of every cover of Mad magazine ever. And it only cost me 50 cents. Plus I got a 50's Rin Tin Tin storybook. An old Mission Impossible TV tie-in book. These great vintage photo books from Cleopatra and Mary Poppins. The film classics book of Psycho. It's basically like watching the whole movie. A 1962 first edition mystery novel, The Yellow Room. A sealed 1992 calendar of movie star portraits. And two old How and Why books. I used to read these as a kid. All right, let's check out my video scores. I got these VHS tapes for 25 cents or less each. The Mummy, Krull, Avenging Force, the Maltese Falcon, the scandalous sounding Her Life as a Man, and the Shoji Tabuchi Show, Volume 1, starring everyone's favorite Japanese American country music fiddler. Lady, you are wonderful. <laughs> I think I scared you, didn't I? <laughs> Here's another 10 tapes that I did not get at the thrift store. I got them at the flea market, 10 for a dollar. Warner clamshells of Firefox, Battle of the Bulge, Any Which Way You Can, and The Right Stuff. At the Earth's Core, Sinbad of the Seven Seas with Lou Ferrigno, a ninja double feature, a sealed copy of the Moonlighting Pilot, Eight Million Ways to Die, and Night Friend. Looks like they just photoshopped Art Carney right into the movie. It was very unusual this month that I did not buy a single DVD. But someone dumped hundreds of the inserts from their DVD collection, and I scored lots of cool stuff. Awesome collectible booklets from cult, foreign, and horror movies, even some posters. Let's move on now from video to audio. I got this old picture sleeve 45 by Crash Craddock and a couple more by Culture Club. I also got all of these LPs for just 33 cents each. Culture Club, Color by Numbers, Phantoms by The Fix, Metamorphosis by Iron Butterfly, Live Bullet by Bob Seger, By the Light of the Moon by Los Lobos, Happiness is Being with the Spinners, and I Am What I Am by Pia Zadora. The comedy albums Politics and Popcorn by Rich Little, and No Hits, Four Errors by Martin Mull. Truckin' On and Keep On Truckin' are great compilations, and I got the holiday albums Someday at Christmas by Stevie Wonder and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer by Gene Autry. 
plus the soundtracks from Cocktail and Honeysuckle Rose, and two Hoyt Axton albums, Road Songs and Snowblind Friend. Occasionally, I buy albums just for their cover art, whether it's amazing or hilarious. Here's an album called Disco Mania by Café Creme. This album, called Disco Tech No. 1, isn't actually disco at all, it's mostly 60s Motown songs. Tamiko Jones is on hand to take you on a love trip, and the Ritchie family are part of the American generation. Denise McCann wins this month, though, with Tattoo Man. What was she thinking? I also got the CDs 40 Licks by the Rolling Stones, Kings of the Wild Frontier by Adam Ant, and What the Hell Happened to Me by Adam Sandler, plus the cassettes Heaven on Earth by Belinda Carlisle, Lita by Lita Ford, and Emo Phillips live from the Hasty Pudding Theater. Okay, it's time to finish up today with toys and games. I got another VCR game. This 1990 America's Funniest Home Videos game is based on the TV show and features Bob Saget. The object of the game is to be the first person to reach the $100,000 goal at the end of the game board. Check this out. It's a 1970 Romper Room scoop -a loop game from Hasbro. It actually consists of two plastic scoops and a red ball. Show Mommy and Daddy how to play Romper Room scoop -a loop with you, too. You'll all have a good time. Even better, the box still had this vintage Romper Room catalog in it. It's full of old toys that really bring back the memories. I also got a pack of playing cards that feature wonderful views of Bulgaria, a My Little Pony Applejack Pony, and this little green plastic Snoopy charm that probably came out of a gumball machine. The last thing that I got was this grab bag of toys for $2.95. First I'll show you the things in it that I don't really care about too much. Flashcards, a Zuzu pet, an empty box of puzzle cards, two crappy yo-yos, and a set of jacks. I do like this pack of World War II airplane spotter playing cards, and this brand new Duncan Butterfly yo-yo. But the reason I grabbed this grab bag was because I saw this stuffed in it. A 1982 Parker Brothers Orb puzzle toy. The Orb was, of course, a Rubik's Cube type toy. It has a series of colored beads, and the two hemispheres of the orb rotate through 45 degree increments. Which means I'm never going to solve this. Even though I bought that $2.95 grab bag and all of those records, I still got everything that you saw in this video for about $25. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my April 2016 thrift store haul. If you did, don't forget to click on the like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.